celebrities. There's a fact for you. Paired up with an expert. Well, like a girlfriend. <laughs> and a classic car. Give it some juice, Myrie, give it some juice. Their mission? To scar Britain for antiques. I'm brilliant at haggling. Who knew? The aim? To make the biggest <gasps> profit at auction. I can't believe that. But it's no easy ride. What's that smell? The clutch! Who will find a hidden gem? That's very Art Deco, isn't it? Take the biggest <laughs> risk. It's half toy, it's half furniture. Will anybody follow expert advice? That's irrelevant. There will be worthy winners <laughs> and valiant losers. No! Put your pedal to the metal. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Celebrity Antiques Road Trip. Not half. Croiso e Gumry. That's right, we're in Wales. <laughs> we're really driving now. Wow. Barely peeking above the steering wheel is comedian and actress Lucy Porter. And in the passenger seat, professional brainiac Jenny Ryan. Isn't this gorgeous? This is like being in an Enid Blyton or something. It's just <laughs> driving down country lanes in a lovely old Volvo. I'll wire a car. <laughs> yeah, two go mad in, uh, <laughs> in Monmouthshire. They're motoring through Monmouthshire in a 1968 Volvo 1800S. Should we name the car, Jen? Oh. It's um, a Swedish car. Ah. What's a good Swedish name? Um... Bjorn? Bjorn, yes. Bjorn. Yeah. <laughs> so oh. little Bjorn. I don't think the Volvo likes being called Bjorn. Yeah, more power, more power. Boom, boom, baby. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. When she's not burning the clutch out, Lucy <laughs> has been wowing UK audiences for the past decade as a stand-up comedian. Her compadre on this trip, Jenny Ryan, is practically a genius. A British quiz show pro, she's going to be one tough opponent. It's a glorious day and I can tell because of my hay fever. Yeah. My natural habitat is not outside in the sunshine. It's inside where there are books. This pair are positively potty about quizzes. They first met six years ago when Lucy appeared on The Celebrity Chase and they now co-host a quizzing podcast together. Oh, 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 oh. Does it need Come more on, chunk, little chunk? car, you can do it. You can make this. On that note, time to meet their opposite numbers, dealers extraordinaire, Sirhat Ahmet and Stephen Moore. I'm very excited to meet Lucy and Jenny. Exactly. And you see, Jenny is... Well, I think she doesn't mind being called a know-it-all, <laughs> but does she know about antiques? Lucy is hilarious, um, and I think, you know, you need good humour yep. when you're buying antiques. You definitely need it for this job. <laughs> the boys are living like kings, driving a luxurious Rolls-Royce Silver Shadow. The cars can yep. have, a, have a humour of their own. Uh, I, th I think the, the personality. I think it's fair to say, Bjorn's personality ain't winning them over. Oh, my God, no, there's something very bad happening. Yeah, it smells not good here. No. Once the ladies get back up and running, a Welsh adventure awaits, culminating in an ultimate showdown in Winchester. First up, Pontypool and Ragamuffin's Emporium for some shopping. Well, we're here. We are where they are. Since they're not here yet, so what do you a, think? Yeah, let's just let's go go quick. Cave of <laughs> you on. go first. Spanning several stories of a renovated former bank, there are rich pickings to be found in here. Ah, here are the ladies. Saw <laughs> motor. I'm excited. Let's get into rivalry mode now. Okay. We're not friends anymore. We're take you down. Nice to see some friendly competition. Ah, they each have 400 smackers to spend and a Clever Clogs antiques expert to help them. I wonder where Lucy is. Ah. Let's give her a quick call. Uh, I'm not sure that's connected, Sir Hat. You rang? <gasps> Hello, where are you? Turn around and you'll see. <laughs> hey! 
Oh, lovely to see you. Lucy, great to meet you, but Finally. just wondering, yeah, <laughs> it's what, been what's been journey. going on? <laughs> I have broken a beautiful car, little okay. fuel the Volvo. Okay. I hope it's going to be OK, but yeah, we've had a bit of a journey to get here. We may, I'm afraid, so have to go home on oh, this. <laughs> I love that. I love it. It suits you. Um, yes. So, yeah, but I'm here and I'm delighted and I can't wait. Hop to it, Lucy. <laughs> Oh. Hello, hello. I better stop. I was about to put a record on. Good oh. morning. Good morning. I know. Are you ready to teak? I'm more than ready to teak. You are just the man. Let's get on with it. Lead on, Vixen. And we're off. <laughs> See, I do... My heart is always drawn to, like, mid-century okay. sort of stuff. Right. I think probably because it reminds me of my granddad's house. And that seems like the kind of clock he would have had it's very, above the sideboard. It's very George and Mildred. Oh, it's perfectly fine. How much is it? Oh, let's have a look. Is it...? Um, we've got a pot full of money. Oh, well, yeah. We, well, we've not bought anything yet. £85. See, the trouble is it's very fashionable. I think that's far too strong for that. I think you've made I'd have you've to made pick your that up first a, correct decision. You're learning bargain. fast. But in terms of style, that's my kind of okay. That's where my right. eye is drawn. Okay. I think I might have right. found something you might like in that case. Perfect. Ta-da! <gasps> Do you fancy a snowball? I love a snowball. I guess that is uh, an advertising. It is. I mean, so, you know, the salesman would say, you take Advocar, we'll give you this promotional bottle as to market. But it's great because you've got, you've got it engraved on the bottom of the bottle and then you've got the original paper label, which, you know, is virtually untouched. Nice little bit of wear. So they're not that common. No. no. And the thing is, this, this is an old, this is 60, 70 year old. I wouldn't try drinking. I think it's yellow paint inside. <laughs> Yeah, it might be. Even if it was real stuff yeah, from the got 40s. Yeah, it might, have, might have got a bit manky. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you imagine? You couldn't find a more perfect it's a no -brainer, start. No-brainer, isn't it? it? And it's, it's £25. I think no. that is... That's nailed on, mate. It's a no-brainer. Let's right. buy it. Sold. Yay. Hurrah. One down, several to go. Come on. Great start. The vixen strikes first. I wonder where Lucy's got to. Oh, God. <laughs> I can see a theme developing here. Sir Hat, what I found have something. you found there? Well, now I've just emptied this. <laughs> Where? <laughs> um, so I'm feeling great. Uh, I kind of like that. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of booze-related stuff in this room, which sure I enjoy. Um, and there's something that's caught my eye here. Ooh. So this double diamond, I'm guessing 70s, but I quite like it because it works. It's nicely sort of nostalgic and retro for those of us who remember the 70s and 80s. What do you reckon? So that would have been in a pub, on or behind the bar. You know, it's just it's a bit of fun advertising memorabilia because you can't get d Double Diamond anymore. No. Exactly. And I love the fact that it lights up. It's really cool and I think, you know, that, 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 that's quite an emotive piece. I think it's going to be something that's quite interesting at auction, actually. Is there a price? The price is £38. Well, look, that's well within budget. It's within budget. I mean, it's a, I love it. I think it's so cute. I say go for it. I think you can create your own Queen Vic. Pop. Yes! <laughs> It's my name above the door! <laughs> Sir Hat, your bard! <laughs> da 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 da! <clears throat> Moving on. Hello. Is Lucy writing her memoirs? All right, what's going on here then? Oh, hi! Yeah, you've just caught me um, just writing my victory speech. Victory speech? Yes. That's uh, a bit premature. It's been going terribly well, Jenny. It's been one morning shopping. <laughs> I don't quite believe you. Well, However, I admire your confidence. Yeah, how have you been getting on? It's been going very well. We're of the same mind. Oh, hang on a minute, sorry. Yep, that's the uh, National Society of Losers. They're, they're, your membership's ready, apparently. I'm going to do some more shopping okay. away from your smug face. That's right, Tim. Thank you very much. This competition is heating up. They'll be fighting like cats and dogs or foxes. It's a vixen for the vixen. Oh, 
Oh, it's a little vixen. It's a vixen. That is the perfect item. I for think you, that's definitely it? a vixen, isn't it? Yeah, that's. It's a, she's very dainty, isn't she? Yes, we, exactly. We, we're always well turned out. She got your eyes. Green eyes like me. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, Same colour. She's yeah. not very old, is she? No, old. I think she is. Um, well, one could be unkind and say new. Okay. But I mean, it's fun. Yeah. It, it I, no, new. I love. I love a fox. Anything with a fox on it, and. And it is. It is hand painted. I think it's lovely. And it is if it's cheap enough. Does it have a price on it? No, it's priceless. Oh. I think it's worth finding out because it stands out so much and what could be a more ideal purchase for the Vixen, a vixen than a Vixen? for the Vixen, exactly. Yeah, let's find out. Time to speak to the proprietor, mm. Alan. It's that time. Hello. Have you found anything nice? There's one thing we definitely want, which we both love, which is the Advocar bottle. Ticket price, £25. The other thing we were going to ask you about is we rather like, predictably, the Vixen. The Fox. Yeah. Yes. That is good, isn't it? Yeah. Fabulous. How much is it? 95. <gasps> uh, so, um, sorry, so much for poker face. Um, but it's Ooh. completely hand-painted. I think we have the real Vixen here. We needn't bother with imitations. And we're going to antiques auction. We want older things and I, I don't, just don't think it would sell. Let's leave it. You're learning first. So shall we... Do the deal on that one. I shall count it out now from my secret stash. Oh, that's 25 smackaroos. And I think that's a great deal. Thank, Thank you very much. You. Thanks very much. Pleasure doing business with you. Nicely done, Jenny, and that leaves £375 in the kitty. Or bra. <laughs> shall we hit the town? Let's go. Come on. I've got the Africa. <laughs> You've got the lemonade. I shall follow. And while they get on the cocktails, what are Lucy and Sir Hat up to? Sir Hat. Wow, look at this. It's a room of mid century mid -century elegance. Mid century stuff. I really like this. I love the colours. It just sang to me as I came Aww. into the room. And then I sort of. There's a lot I like here. So this jug thing mm -hmm. as well, I think is really pretty. I love this design. I mean, what, what do you make of this well, stuff? The vases and the jugs, they seem to me to be. Uh, West German. Mm -hmm. the, the figurines, to me, do not look West German, so that they must be something else. It says, Russian ladies, one damaged, aren't we all, love? I mean, <laughs> and they are £30 for the pair. Wow. Do you know what? But I like it. Let's just buy the whole gosh darn table. <laughs> Let's just buy them all, sir. Because we could make a lot, couldn't we, of, like, mid-century lovely things? Well, they've been curated together. Oh, I think they look fabulous like that. Mm. I mean, I've never heard anyone say, I'll have it, I'll have everything on this shelf. <laughs> Just take everything. <laughs> but hey, you know, why not? I've gone why crazed. Not? I've gone bonkers. The whole shebang will cost £178. I think we should go and find the, the shopkeeper and have a deal. What do you think? Brilliant. Well, yeah, you'll have to lead, but yeah. yeah? Or All teach right. me how to do it. Better go find Alan then. Oh, there he is. Hi, Alan. Hi. Hello. Alan, there's two things. There's the double diamond light. OK. It's marked to £38, and we're not going to haggle. No. We're no, just going to give you the £38 for that. that one is, yeah. Yeah. And then there's this lovely white table upstairs, and upon this white table are vases, jugs, a couple of figurines. I, Alan, would like to buy all of those things. All of them? I totted them up. OK. And um, it came to... It's only about £178, but obviously you wouldn't charge us. Look at that face, you know, I mean, you couldn't charge that for them. What, what do you think, what would be the, the figure that would make you happy and make me happy? Um, what if we said 120? Am I allowed to do that? Is I that think, right? I think you're, you're getting a great... let me do it! Yes! A great offer. Thank you. Uh, I knew you were a nice there. man, Alan. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're all happy. Great. Are you happy? As long as you're happy. We're all happy, hooray! <laughs> well, then, I'm happy. <laughs> happy, happy, happy. Happy, happy, right, I'll, I'll, I'll get the cash. So, altogether, that's £158, leaving them with £242 to spend. What a brilliant day! <laughs> My first, well done. first purchase. Very so good, exciting. well done. We'll catch up with Stephen and Jenny in the roles. You did Celebrity X Factor, didn't you? That was an incredible experience and really validating for me as someone who was quite shy about all those things when I was a kid. 
I, I knew that I enjoyed singing and I knew that I could hold a tune, but I didn't know that other people would enjoy it to the same yes. extent. You sure this is a road? Are well, you doing the directions? <laughs> You're meant to be map reading, you know, not just talking about yourself. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I've gone into <laughs> the jungle. Yeah, I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. <laughs> when they get back en route, Stephen and Jenny are heading to Nankaru, a small, unassuming village north of Cardiff. It has a legendary reputation in the porcelain world. They're meeting Charles Fountain, director of the Nankaru China Works, to learn more. Hello, Jenny. Hello, Stephen. Hello. Welcome to Nankaru China Works. The shrine of Please. British porcelain. Lead the way. The China factory was founded in 1813 by William Billingsley, one of the most brilliant porcelain makers Britain has ever seen. So, Charles, I'm going to show my ignorance here. What is the significance of Nankaru? Well, Nankaru produced a porcelain that was whiter finer and more translucent than any of the other porcelains around. They used to say you could read a newspaper through Nankaro if you could actually fire it thin enough. But just to give you a little idea, if I take a little Nankaro cup um, and put a light inside it, you can see oh, just, yeah. just how much the light shines through it. What was it that was so special about what was made here? Every porcelain manufacturer had their own recipe and they all kept them incredibly secret because the amount of money to be earned was potentially huge and Billingsley had his own specific recipe, um, which was very different to all the other porcelains at the time that managed to achieve that. The difficulty was he had huge problems firing it, and up to 90% of the porcelain that was produced was destroyed in the kilns. Oh. So very, very little was produced, and sadly, they only actually manufactured porcelain for four years. Wow, so it's, it's vanishingly rare as well, then? Extremely rare, and now extremely valuable. Um, plates can fetch £40,000 or more. Ooh, let's watch out for some of those. That's a big dinner. Despite his work being highly prized, due to the 90% loss rate, in just a few years, Billingsley had racked up crippling debts and was forced to quit the Nankaru works. He died in 1828, taking the secret formula he used to produce his porcelain to the grave. The kilns where he produced his finest works still stand to this day. In terms of the history of porcelain, this is a holy site, really. It's a shrine to something which was miraculous and very precious. Absolutely, and people travel from all over the world. How is this still intact for us? It was actually the Pardo family that ran the factory from 1835 up until 1920. And by then, they just were making flower pots and, and clay pipes, and effectively clay pipes had been taken over by cigarettes mm -hmm. and the factory closed for the last time. And when they left, the place fell into complete disrepair. Um, it almost got completely bulldozed, um, but was saved and bought by the council. And we took over as the Nankaro China Works Trust uh, around eight years ago. Now, once again, making Nankaro porcelain. Billingsley's secret formula remained lost for nearly 200 years until 2017. In-house ceramicist Sally Stubbings has been instrumental in rediscovering the lost art of Nank Garrow's famous porcelain. Hello, Sally. Oh, hi, Jenny. Welcome to the workshop. This is where the action happens. It is, yes. And I thought you might like to have a go at uh, making a, a, a small cup, like you can see up on the, on the shelf there. OK. Nice, even, steady pour. I just top. think it's custard. Custard. Delicious. I think custard. With the help of the University of Bradford, the museum used spectroscopic analysis of shards of the original china to match its makeup exactly, unlocking the long lost recipe. So once we feel that it's ready to come out, and you can actually see that, because if I tip it up, can you see the little gap where it's just, you know, shrunk a bit and it's ready to come out? The next stage is firing. Through historic detective work, the museum discovered Billingsley's huge loss rate was caused by temperature fluctuation. Using a modern electric kiln, Sally is able to control the heat precisely. That would be We're good to go. Closed. You can close the lid now. <gasps> what a job. And we'll set the programme and run. Yes. It's a very labour-intensive process. It was back in the day, it still is now. We're making them authentically as they would have been, so there's no shortcuts here. 
Billingsley's drive for perfection ultimately led him to financial ruin. But the legacy he left behind was rich indeed. For 200 years, nobody was able to match his flawless standards. Until now, when the kilns of Nantgarrow are firing again. Oh, somebody's got new wheels. A Mercedes 300 SL. Yeah, Bjorn, the Volvo and I were not seeing eye to eye. This is much better. Do you feel you've been Bjorn again? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Oi, Sir Hat. I do the jokes around here. Leave it to the professionals, eh? So would you say, Lucy, that you've always had a funny bone? My mum and dad used to love Dave Allen. I don't know if you remember the yeah, brilliant I know Irish comedian right. Dave Allen. So I used to, at the age of about eight, I used to sit there doing Dave Allen impressions Ooh. with a glass of whiskey <laughs> and a lit cigarette. Because it was the 80s, we were a lot more relaxed about these things then. <laughs> and uh, so I think I always love to make people laugh and yeah. just cheer people up, really. Yeah, we all love a laugh, don't we? Lucy and Sir Hat are making their way to Cowbridge and Happy Days Vintage Home Store. Are you ready for your second shop? Well, I'd quite like to bask in the sunshine a bit more, but yes, <laughs> if I do. We get our top bind done quick, we can <laughs> get in the sun after. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they have £242 to play with. Come on, Lucy, no time for jazz hands. Sir Hat's found something. Lucy? Hello. Look at these. What? I love these. What do you think? Really, really nice. It's the library steps, am they I? They are, yeah. Go up it. <laughs> oh, I love it even more. <laughs> that's, oh, that's too high. I finally get to talk down to you, Sir <laughs> Hat. This is amazing. Now I'm going all the way to the top. <laughs> yes. So, I mean, from the look of them, I mean, it's oak. They are arts and crafts style. They're not arts and crafts, period, sadly. Um, but they look good. Ticket says 145. Oh, so it does. So it's a little bit That's on the, on the high side. side, isn't I'm it? I'm worried about that. I, I mean, I love it. Do you think we might get a bit of movement? I think, I think if it's the right price, yeah. I think it would be a nice buy. I think you might need to do some smiling at people. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm good at that. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> you crack on. Right, I'm going to come back down to Earth with a bump now. That's one for later, then. What else can they find? What's Lucy spotted here, then? Sir Hat, allow me to show you. It's booze-related, <laughs> <laughs> not that I'm obsessed or anything, but I just it's quite big and colourful. I've seen these kind of mirrors before, but not this size. Right. What do you think? You're right to say, I mean, they, they normally come in a smaller size. Yeah. And it's nice to have the original frame, because that's definitely the original frame. Yeah, and it looks sort of pretty sturdy and... I, I think it's cool. And it speaks to you. That's the important thing. I think you've got to buy things that you like. Mm. And, you know, if you like it, the, the hope is that someone at auction is going to like it too. And £48. Pounds. £48. Pounds. Well, you know, we've got the money, but the lower the better. No, no. <laughs> Let's see what we can do, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Shall we go and speak to the shopkeeper? Because I think it's time to do a deal, really. Oh, not again. All right. I know, you, you, you know. Can you do it this time? Maybe. Well, let's see. Go on. Let's see. Go on, treat me. <laughs> Be kind, sir. Be kind. That's Amanda. She's the lady in charge. Hello. Hi, Amanda. Welcome. Hi. Um, Hello. Hello. <laughs> so, we have seen the library steps. Oh, yeah. Good. And <laughs> the mirror, the vermouth mirror. Oh, yes, yeah. 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 And, you know, <laughs> we were sort of wondering if there was any sort of movement. Is this how I meant to do it? Well, <laughs> if there was any sort of movement on the price that you might be able to do for us, Amanda. Right, OK. Yeah. The steps are 145. Aww. And the mirror, right. it's 48. So okay. that comes to 193. OK. You could probably get the mirror down to 40. And I could get her to push the steps down to... 120, so what's that? 160. But that's about it. Honestly. 160. Oh, I think it's OK. That's lovely. Thank you, oh, Amanda. Thank you. Thanks both. Pop the uh, money the down money. here. Yes, OK. And then we'll, uh, we'll go and get our stuff, yeah? Yeah. Right. With those purchases made, Lucy and Sir Hat are left with £82 in the kitty and they're all shopped up for the day. Lucy, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, 
Oops. <laughs> Steady how you go. You could have let me carry the mirror, couldn't you? Don't drop it, Lucy. <sighs> Time for our road trippers to call it a day. So do you fancy a sing? Yeah, yeah. What shall we sing? Do you like Gilbert and Sullivan? I love Gilbert and Sullivan. My first love in Gilbert and Sullivan is the Mikado. Love the Mikado, it's fabulous. Three little maids yeah. from school are we. Pert as a schoolgirl well can be. Filled to the brim with girlish glee. Three little maids from school. Three, Three little, little maids, maids from, from school. <laughs> but if we see a car coming now, I'll be in trouble. <laughs> Very steep. Oh my goodness! There's a pretty enormous I'm tractor. I'm really here, pleased we came this way. <laughs> Please don't hurt Ooh. us, Mr. Tractor. There we go. He's got plenty of room. Thank you. We could get a bus through there. Do you think we could buy one of those for auction? I could drive <laughs> one of those now. I feel very confident that I could drive that back to the auction for us. Let's just stick to the Merc, shall we? Nighty night. The second day of our Welsh tour, and Jenny's getting a load of the Merc. How do you like my new wheels? Oh, you, you seem a bit happier driving this one. May I tell you, this is such a joy. Oh, Very glad exciting. that yesterday's escapades are past us. <laughs> my audition for the new presenter of Top Gear has not gone as well as I'd <laughs> hoped, but... Yeah, not quite the stig, are you, Lucy? <laughs> How was your day yesterday? It's been brilliant, Stephen. You seemed very proud. Oh. <laughs> I was making some really good decisions. Serhat has been glorious. He could offer anything and they'd go, oh, yes, well, that's very nice, thank you. He's got some sort of mesmeric hypnotic <laughs> power. I think the appreciation was mutual. Stephen, we had four purchases yesterday. Four? Four. She was on a roll. Really? She was oh on an God. absolute roll. Indeed, Lucy and Sir Hat were the day's big spenders, splashing out on a double diamond lager advertising light, a job lot of porcelain figurines and vases, a large martini advertising mirror, and a set of arts and crafts. Library steps. I finally get to talk down to you, <laughs> Sir Hat. Leaving them with £82 to spend, while Jenny and Stephen just bought the one item, a large 1950s Advocard display bottle. Let's buy it. Sold which gives them £375 to play with today. Back with the ladies, it's time for some show and tell. Right, what have we got? Right, so... Ta-da! Here it is. Ooh. Oh, I love your thing. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Gosh, we've gone booze-related. I think, <laughs> I think we've gone for a theme. Double diamond. And double diamond. Oh, my. So, this, is that a lamp? It's a lamp and it works. Oh, marvellous. It's and really cute. Is this a mixed lot? That is a lot. So, there is... I really like this, like, the little bowl. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Yeah. And then we've got those little Russian ladies who are beautiful, the Russian ballerinas. You've, you've got quite a lot of shopping done. I feel like I've got a bit of catching up to you do. You do? With one big bottle. Oh, but it's so pretty, isn't it? Beautiful. Lovely. <laughs> I don't want to put it down now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you have a little nap, sweetheart. All right, let's yeah. get you to safely back. There in. you go. Night, night, darling. Night, night. There we are. Beautiful. Lucy's picking up Sir Hat en route to their next destination, the Welsh capital city of Cardiff. Their shop. The Cardiff Reclamation Yard is the place to go for all things architectural. There's Jeff. He's in charge today. Ooh! <laughs> Where that. have I brought you? <laughs> <laughs> I need to make a call. Hang on. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Lucy only has £82 left, but with her new negotiating skills, that should be more than enough. Lucy? What do you think of this little doorstop collection? Oh, well, they've stopped me in my tracks, <laughs> as you would hope a doorstop would. I like... So, two lions. Yeah. Yeah, they're great. And then that lovely lady... She's not technically a doorstop, to be oh, honest. Okay. She looks like she's come off the top of a clock. Oh, OK, yes. But I think with a bit of ballast inside, yeah. she could turn into a doorstop. <laughs> I love her. And I love them. What are they made of? These are cast iron. Oh, OK. Right. She is spelter, which is a kind of alloy. It's, a, it's, it's kind of imitating bronze. OK. It's a cheaper way of doing it. So oh. if you couldn't afford bronze, you'd buy spelter. I've never heard of spelter. And I'm just, learning they, every day. They, they, they have a similar look, but she's much lighter than the bronze version of her. So how old do you think they are? 
probably turn of the century. So okay. maybe slightly older. 1880. Okay, but you know, good hundred years and, yeah, and they've some, got, yeah. Got age. Um, there's no prices on them, but look, mm. we're down to the last of our monies, oh. 82 pounds. Yeah. I think it'd be great if we could get two lions mm -hmm. for 82 yes. pounds. Yeah, that would be amazing. Should we call Jeff over? Yes. See if we can buy two of those. Work your magic, go on. You know <laughs> might, you want to. I might let you work your magic. I I'll, have I'll, no magic. I can smile in the background and All you right. can do the you can do the weeping story of <laughs> okay. where we are in life. I'll do the hard luck story, you do the smiling. Great. Yeah. All right. We'll leave them to track down Jeff. Meanwhile, 23 miles away, Jenny has arrived in Aberdare, the town once dubbed Queen of the Hills. She has a rendezvous with Stephen at Aberdare Market Antiques. Jenny's been quite thrifty so far and still has £375 to spend. Ah, oh, Her Majesty. I don't often see it actually on a flag. It's seen a bit of life, though. It's been waved a few times. Yeah. It might have uh, waited outside Westminster Abbey for a few weddings. Oh. <laughs> People like them because they're kind of vintage and a bit nostalgic. They kind of hang them. You know, like you might have a, um, a, a, a coat rack in the hall. Yes. Like, kind of shove them in there, like, you know. Yeah. Just add a bit of interest. A decorator's piece. Just and you to, never know. Yeah. Platinum Jubilee coming up. Oh, my goodness, mm -hmm. yes. Bye now, before it's too late. You'll have the oldest flag in the parade. God save our gracious Queen, long live our noble Queen, God save the Queen. A very stirring, Stephen. I don't know what came oh, over me all there. No, you went all patriotic. Yes. I, know, it's, uh, I love the Queen. It's worth considering. Well, mm. uh, we can come back to this one. Gone from a no to a maybe. It has. OK. You're warming to warming it. Warming to it, yes. OK. Well, how much is it? I might have to ask. Onwards and upwards, what else is there to find? Aha! This looks promising. Jenny? Mm-hmm. Oh. Have you been to Newland on your holidays? I, I haven't. OK, well, this is Newland Copperware. Newland Copperware originates from Newland, Cornwall, in the late 19th century. Fishermen produced it to subsidise their income, and it's highly collectible. The best sort has sort of fish and galleons and things on. Mm -hmm. It's probably it's £155, so it's probably on. But if it had yeah. fish on it... That would, that that's would the sort of thing. I mean, do you that's... like it? I'm not against it. Okay. Well, um, but if you think the price is a bit strong, we're going to have to yeah, talk about it. Yeah, it's a bit it. dependent on it, That would be about the price for something with fish on it, would you say? If I had fish on and it was 155, we'd be buying it. Okay. While we're there. Okay. Another ship I've just seen. Oh, the little brooch. Ahoy there. I'm assuming it's not diamonds, probably, is it marcasite? Well, it says fine silver and marcasite galleon brooch. Mm. £38. That seems... I'd wear that on my lapel, if you don't you? buy it, I'll buy it. I'm going to have a fight. I think that's lovely. <laughs> that look lovely on my pink jacket. Definitely, I'm very warm on the brooch. OK. Have you seen anything else? I saw something on the wall over there. Okay. I wanted to know what it was all about. Well, let's have a look. Lead on. Whilst Jenny takes Stephen to this mysterious item, let's see what Sir Hat and Lucy are up to. Jeff! Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you were nearer than we thought. We really love these lions. I'm going to show you how much money we've got. <laughs> and it's a simple deal or no deal, Jeff. We've got 20, 40, 60, 82 pounds. For the two lions? Mm. Oh, he's thinking about it. Smile at him a bit, sir. Yeah, look, look, well, at that. look at that little <laughs> face. I'd rather smile off you, actually. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Jeff. yeah, deal. <gasps> you yeah. are amazing. Really? Yeah. Thank you I'm so happy with that. Much. Yeah. That's brilliant. That's so lovely. Like, Dürchen Fahr. <laughs> that was terrible Welsh, <laughs> but I tried my best. Well, hey! Well done, Lucy. And with that, they're all spent up. Oh, my gosh! Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Take care. Cheers, Al. Bye. 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 See ya. Oh, great. I don't know if the suspension can take this. Though, huh? <laughs> it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Oh, oh I'm going to have a dusty boot there. Right. Right. <laughs> Here we are. Oh. She's off. Hey, this is smooth. Back in Aberdare, Jenny has something to show Stephen. 
There is a frames check from Buckingham Palace. I've just seen that, yeah. It's for £1.77. The Queen paid somebody £1.77. Well, I was wondering, that small an amount, it's kind of a ceremonial amount. Could that be the Maundy oh, money? Maundy Being paid money. by yes, cheque rather than in a little pouch? Maybe for somebody who couldn't get to the ceremony. Every year on Maundy Thursday, in a service dating back to 600 AD, the Queen distributes symbolic Maundy money to local pensioners. Maundy money is a tiny, tiny amount. But that's £12. That's pretty cool, that. I think that's, that's a really fun bit. There, there aren't that many out there. You know what? We could put that and the flags together. Yes. Make up a lot. I think that's a cracking idea. This could be a royal flush. Anything else? Maybe I'm crazy. OK, well, we know that. What about this vase? Yeah. I know it's... I think it's not going to be to everyone's taste, but I actually love this. Well, um, love is an important part. What does it say it is? It says it's a 1930s Art Deco era Czechoslovakian vase by okay. Dietmar Erlach, Alienware. It's got 37 on it. It's very stylish. I mean, it's, as you say, it's a bit... It's going to be, yeah. you know, love it or hate it. It might be a little earlier than the 30s. I think it's maybe more 20s. It's that really? kind of late Vienna Secession style. Well, it's very stylish and it's very well made. I mean, that high firing, is, it's like an extra process on top, so it's yeah. an expensive piece. And at £37... That, I don't think that's very no. expensive at all. So, we've got that as a potential. Mm -hmm. We have the royal stuff. The royal package. <laughs> the royal <laughs> package, what a thought. Um, and the maybe little Marquisite brooch. Yes, yeah. I think that's enough to be going on with, don't you? Let's do a deal. These are the things. I'm going to close the cabinet. Let's do a deal. Better grab dealer David and spend some dosh. David, just the man. Oh, hi, Jenny. We've had a good browse, and there are a few things that we would like possibly to take away with us. Excellent. Um, we like your flags. OK. With the Buckingham Palace check. I wonder if we could have those as a unit. A good combo. <laughs> we are interested in the marker seat brooch, which is shaped yeah. like a galleon. And I, I love the uh, Czechoslovakian bars, so I think that might have to be on our yeah, shortlist as well. It, it does have some grotesque charm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a lovely way of putting it. <laughs> the vase at 37. Mm -hmm. The brooch at 38. The cheque's £12. How much were the flags? £15 is fine by me. That sounds fantastic. How much do I owe you for that little lot? That tallies up at £102. That sounds like a very, very fair price for an awful lot of swag there, so let's call it a deal. After buying that pile of goodies, Jenny's left with £273. Now, the open road beckons. Time to get back in the roller and head on. Lucy and Sir Hat have spent all their money so they can afford to take a breather. They're making their way to Swansea, where they're meeting a man about a dog, specifically John Essenhigh, who breeds corgis. Borida. Borida, John. Borida. So, John, who do we have here? OK, so we have Baggins. We've got Cochio, 16 months old. They're both show dogs. Short in stature, but big in reputation, the Welsh Corgi is famously the canine of choice for Her Majesty. The Queen has owned 30 Corgis since she was first given a dog named Susan on her 18th birthday in 1944. Obviously, we know the Queen has her beloved Corgis. Yeah. Um, are Baggins and Koch in the same breed? Same family, but these are Cardiganshire Corgis, mm -hmm. and the Queen has... Pembroke Corgis. Ah. Um, years ago, a Pembroke Corgi would be known because they didn't have any tails. They used to either be born without the tails or the tails would be docked, okay. whereas the cardigans have always had a tail. Okay. Um, they're also a lot bigger than the <laughs> Pembroke Corgi. They are solid units, John, I think it's fair to yeah. say. Look at those chunky boys. The Cardiganshire Corgi is said to trace its roots to dogs brought to Wales by the Celts about 1200 BC, 
while the Pembroke is reputedly descended from dogs introduced by Flemish weavers about 1100 AD. So, despite the corgi's relatively recent regal connection, it is far from a pampered pooch. It has true working class credentials. These dogs have been used on the farms in Wales. They would have been used for moving the cattle, sheep, and horses up into the hills. Amazing! Um, so clever and able to take on a horse. They can tell a horse what to do. They can yep. certainly tell you what to do, sir. They can, look, they say, stay there, <laughs> up against the van. <laughs> <laughs> Those little legs do not look like they would lend themselves to herding. Well, the little legs were there for a reason. Cows have got a nasty habit of kicking out with their back legs and the corgis can turn on a sixpence mm -hmm. and they duck under the leg and they turn around and they go back round and then they nip the other ankle of the cow and chase it on. <laughs> um, Little ankle biters, <laughs> excellent. Corgis were used by drovers to move vast herds of cattle from farm to market for generations, but droving largely came to an end with the arrival of the railways in the 19th century. So the corgi's popularity gradually declined, that is, until it made its royal debut. Now, the corgi is a popular pet and show dog. The gang have come to Action Pets Dog Training Centre, where breeder Mary Davies will put our duo through their paces with her Pembrokeshires. You want to have a brisk pace. Yep. Yeah and the dog should be trotting along beside you. OK. Come on, Jazz. Shall we go? Shall we go? Look. So I'm walking and you're... Tr oh, I tell you what. I think Jazz is taking me for a walk a bit. Oh, I've never felt so alive. This is wonderful. All right, Sir Hat, would you like to have a go now? Uh, I would. I know I'm going to be brilliant, so <laughs> I'm, I'm just sure going to go will. for it. Go Come for on, then. It. Let's go back in. Back in. Good boy. Oh, he's got hey. a lovely gait. This way. This way. That's very good. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so modest. Good boy. Yeah, I've done this before. <laughs> so, Mary, you've seen us both round the ring. I've got to ask, who was better? I think it's a draw. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> ah, I don't know about that. I think we need to find oh. out who's best in show. Now it's time for the dog agility. Let's see how good you are. These two don't look very ready, do they? No, where would you like to <laughs> sit down. <laughs> On your marks, get set, go! Jump, 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 Ooh. jump, 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 jump. Sir Hat takes the lead. Good boy. Oh, and this way, this way. Come on, Lucy. Oh, there we go. I won, and you have a forfeit. I think you should try the cool cell. <laughs> <laughs> With Is these that, little legs. I feel so evil saying that. Uh, are you, are you I'm game. Come you on, then. Right. Go. Well, over the first, Yay. onto the second, <laughs> and again, into the tunnel, all the way through, and there we are. Fantastic. Hey, well done. Well done. What a sport. Well done. Well done indeed. Lucy, just like the corgi, you may be small, but you are mighty. Back on the road, Jenny and Stephen still have some shopping to do. We've got a big wadge of cash because we've been very sensible. Yes. Do you fancy splashing it? Are you going to splurge it? I am not averse to such a thing. I think the right thing, home since view, that I is think we should snap it up. Yeah, if it's the right thing, I don't mind going big. Huh. Go big or go home, I suppose. Or maybe go to Carmarthen, the next stop on our romp through Wales. They're shopping at the Carmarthen Antique Centre with £273 to spend. Come on, I'm not waiting. Oof, he's very keen. Wild horses couldn't hold him back, Jenny. Now, there's more than 40 dealers here. Surely there's something to splash out on. Ah, what have you there? Or should I say, qu'est-ce que ici? I really like the educational aspect of these. I'm always about learning. I have, you know, if there's something I'm struggling to learn, I will put posters up okay. and, you know, post-it notes and pictures in different rooms in my house. So I'm always looking at them. So I love that you, that's a classroom poster, clearly. Yep. The, these were basically being thrown out by French schools because they've got proper projectors. And they were just, so they turn up at flea markets in France. And of course, mm -hmm. the, the French don't want them, but they're great decorative appeal. Yeah, I absolutely love that. 
Ticket price, £75. Price is probably what they're worth. Yeah, it's nice that I'm finding the right things, but and The thing is, the because they're framed as well, you're kind of paying a bit for the framing. An unframed one is just as good. Let's keep our eyes peeled, then. Hang about. Oh. Here is an unframed poster. Does it have a price oh, It's double-sided. Uh-huh. It is Danger Signs, Signo de Danger. Do we like it? I think that's very cute, isn't it? Okay. It's another school poster. And I've, I've just seen the price on the other side. Go on. £14. I mean, I think that's fantastic. I think you'd be daft not to buy that. I think that seems like such a bargain. Shall we buy it? I'd love to. You know the way. Let's You've do it. You've got the money. Time to parley with Penny, the shopkeeper. Penny. Hi, found something you like. Well, yeah, we came in here with quite a bit of money left and all the intention of buying something super expensive, but I've absolutely fallen in love with this French school poster. Right, it's Double a bit different. Sided. Yeah. Yeah, and it's just got £14 on it. All right, OK. So, um, we're just, we're just going to be cheapskates, and if you don't mind, we're going to take this away with us. Yeah, that's um, great. It rolls up nicely, it'll fit in the back of the car nice and easily, and I shall count out the money for you. Brilliant, thank you Thank much. you so much, it's been a joy being here. Voila! With that, Jenny's all shopped up. Time to hit the road. Toot sweet. We have bonded so much that I would be more than happy to have you on my pop quiz team. So. Oh, I'd love that. That'd be great honour. Yeah, I'd love that. That'd be fabulous. Fantastic. There might even be an antiques round. Who knows? You never know. As long as it's 25 ways with a napkin, I'll be fine. <laughs> well, Lucy, oh. that is it. You've taught me how to negotiate, for which <laughs> I will be forever grateful. Take that forth and use it, Lucy. I will. I'm going to be down the supermarket going, no, I'm not giving you that for those eggs. <laughs> yeah. If I buy two bananas, <laughs> does that make a difference? Good luck with that one. <laughs> Time for some shut-eye. Rise and shine, it's a glorious day for viewing an auction in Winchester, the ancient capital of England. Its cathedral has stood for over 900 years. En route to this historic city, two celebs in a Mercedes convertible. I know, I hope I win. Well, because you always beat me in quizzes, so I just want to win at something. <laughs> I just want to be the best, just for once. <laughs> the gang's all meeting at West Stoke Farm, a working farm on the outskirts of the city. I hear a car. I can see a car. Oh, my goodness! Look at the boys! Hi! Hello! <laughs> oh, look at this! There we go. Hi! After a rip-roaring ride through Wales, our road trip chums have crossed the border into England and travelled south to Winchester. Meanwhile, their purchases have been sent north to Lincoln and unique auctions. At £70 of you all done at 70 Jenny spent a thrifty £141 on her five lots. Let's find out what's caught the eye of auctioneer Terry Woodcock. It's lovely to have a cheque from Buckingham Palace, all signed, obviously not signed by the Queen, but by the Treasury, and we feel but it could fly. Lucy spent quite a bit more, splurging her entire kitty of £400 on five lots. Which one do you fancy, Terry? We have here a very nice oak library steps. They are not very old. Uh, they are arts and crafts design. You don't come across them that often. Um, and the style is very good. With bids open for commissions, online and over the phone, let's get to it. So, how do you feel? Well, I mean, excited. Yeah. Nervous, apprehensive, a little bit sick, and... <laughs> um... That's just your driving. <laughs> <laughs> Casting and kicking things off is Jenny's Marcusite brooch. I would wear this. Would you wear it, Sir Hat? I would. I thought you would. Let's have a look. Here, Here we, we go. go. Start me at 50 pounds. That's ambitious, well, I think. Start me at 30 then. That's more like it. Come on. If you're not being rude, I'll take you 20. Thank you. For 20 pounds oh, I've got there. Oh. At 20 pounds. At 22, I've got there. At 22. 24. There we go. It's getting warmer. Getting warmer. Oh, you're off. 30 pounds. 32. 33. Come on. Should make a lot, lot more than this. Thank this you. Fabulous, fabulous I'm glad spirit. the auctioneer agrees with us. At 33 of you all. Done at 33. 
Oh. It's a modest loss. Yes. Ah. Uh, it's a sinking ship, unfortunately, but it's early days yet. It was appreciated, and so I don't feel too bad about it. Will Lucy's double diamond light work wonders? I hate to tell you this, but my husband said he doesn't think this is going to make any money. Why? Because <laughs> um, he wouldn't buy it. Well, he just said he's seen a lot of double diamond stuff, but I, I oh. still believe, I'm keeping the faith. Got me a 50 pounds. 30, I'm up to. At 30 pounds there now. There you go. 35, Ooh, 40, 30 I'm up already. to. At 40 pounds now. 40. 40. Okay, we're into profit. Yes. Well. At 40 pounds, have you all done five? At 45, I'll take 50 now. At 45 on the double diamond at 45 pounds. Yay! High five. <laughs> <laughs> Justin was wrong. <laughs> Little victory, lad. <laughs> Our first profit of the day. Well done, Lucy. But come on, you've got to be happy that I proved my husband wrong. Right? Oh, yeah, that's, that's great. Yeah. Sticking with the boozy theme, Jenny's oversized Advocar bottle. If we'd seen it, I think we'd have bought it too. We would. Don't you think? Yeah, so well, well done. Well, you might not have seen it because I spied it and I hid it away. <laughs> <laughs> Stop me a £40 on this Ooh. one. Please, come on. Stop me a £20 then. I've got, thank you, a £10 now, a £10, oh, a £10, £10 now, I'll take 12 Oh, my God, well, I'll take it. At £12. At £12 in the room it is. At 14 hey, Oh, yeah, hey, you know, someone else is chiming Don't in now. You've got half your money back, at least. 16 <laughs> Absolute torture. At £16. Oh, I think he needs a snowball. He does. 22. Ooh. You're all done at 22, I sell on sound room. We were robbed. robbed. Yeah. Absolutely robbed. Robbed. Close, but no cigar. Moving on. I'd have paid £40 for it. Easily. Yeah. Easily. Lucy's job lot of Soviet and West German ceramics now owes her a fair bit. When you saw this, you said, I want everything on that shelf. Yeah. <laughs> I basically bought a whole shelf. Lovely Soviet figures there. Come on, start me at £100 on these. Well, I'll take 12 I've got there. <gasps> 14, 16, 18, No! 20, we shouldn't two, laugh. 24. At 24 now. 26. It's going. Now 28. It's not going to make 120, though, is it? <laughs> 28. I'm glad you're laughing about it. <laughs> At 30, if you're all finished now. At 30 pounds that I sell. <gasps> five. Oh! Five oh just in. Say five. It's pounds. getting better. At 40 now. The loss is getting At smaller. <laughs> I sell for 40 if you're all finished. Oh! <laughs> misery. Oh. I cannot do this. How do you do this? The elation to the despair. <laughs> Unlucky there, Lucy. A bit of uh, loss on those. That is the last time I buy a whole shelf of anything. <laughs> that is it. It was a, it was a brave experiment and it didn't pay off. Jenny's own experiment next, the Alienware vase. So, secret, I collect Alienware. Oh, <laughs> oh well. OK. But, well, you when know, I saw that, I was like, no! <laughs> you'll Why? know how rare this colourway is then, won't you? <laughs> it's a beautiful one. Got me at 20, 12 I've got there. At 12 pounds now, at 12 pounds. I'm looking for 14 now. At 12 pounds oh. now, at 14. Come on. Come on, at 16. Come on, internet. Beautiful condition. 18 now. At 18 pounds. At 18 I mean, pounds. Jenny will bring it to your house for 20. Oh, well. Very, very cheap. You bought that on the cheap, didn't you, Sir Hack? <laughs> Thank you very much for that. <laughs> exactly. If only Sir Hack could have bid, you might have made a profit. I feel for you there because that I, I you I liked it. it as well. Yeah, I think you've been you've been unlucky so far. Time for Lucy's cast iron doorstops. So eighty two pounds. So you paid as much as you lost on the last lot for these. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> at thirty pounds now. That's it. Thirty five. I want. I've got. At thirty five. At thirty five. I want forty now. Forty. Thank you. It's going up in five, which is a good sign. Away, I'll take much your better. Forty five. Thank you. 50. Yes! 55. <laughs> Got a way to go. Oh, they're moving. 65. 65 we're up to. At 65. 65. 65. Oh. 65. Well, do you know Get what, better. Though? Anything that's not a loss of £80 feels like a win. Indeed, every little victory counts. I think that's a result. It's <laughs> fine. Jenny's mid-century French classroom poster is up next. Seigneur yes. de Danger. Yes. Exactly. That's what I call Sir Hat, is Seigneur de Danger. <laughs> <laughs> so come on, start me at £30 on this one. Come on. Come on, start me at 20 start me at 10 then. I've got a £10 in the room. At 10, I'm I just want to make a profit, 12, any profit. 
At 14. Come on. 16. Yes! At 16, I've got a I'm happy about 18. two pounds. At 16. <laughs> at 16 pounds. I sell to sale room at 16. Have you all done? Oh! Magnifique. It's a profit. Two pound profit. Oh. Yes. That sounds like a massive What's amount that? of money to me. <laughs> Will Lucy's martini mirror shake up proceedings? We have a theme between us, don't we? <laughs> we really do. Stop me at fifty pounds on this one. Twenty, I've got straight in at twenty pounds now. At twenty pounds. At twenty-two now. At twenty-two. Twenty-four. At twenty-four now. At twenty-four. I'm looking for twenty-six now. At twenty-four, and I've got the lady at twenty-four. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh my God. goodness! <laughs> it's not the booze day. I think Lucy must have broken a mirror. No luck today. Yeah, this crowd are too sober. He's, it's being sold in a dry county, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> By royal appointment next, Jenny's final lot. Do we think this is going to make us a profit more than two pound? Three pounds, maybe. Oh, three pounds <laughs> fifty. Come on, come on, three pounds. Well come on. On. Come on. I think you're going to do well yeah, on this. this is come on. If it makes thirty quid, I'll be super happy. <laughs> fifty pound has come straight in. At Whoa. 50 pounds now. Yeah. At 50 pounds, I'll take 55 now. At 50 pounds now. I was happy with 30. 55 in the room. At 55. At 55. 60 is coming. Way. This is amazing. Oh. 60 pounds. <laughs> I'm glad I spotted that little check. At 65 now. At 65, 65 I'm looking at 70 now. At 65, have you all done? I'm selling. Well done. Should we do a little done? Yes, oh victory done. <laughs> God saved the Queen indeed. A tidy profit there. Do you think the uh, winning bidder was the one who the cheque was made out to originally? <laughs> <laughs> she wanted her cheque back. I wonder, I wonder where that went. Lucy's last chance to get into profit now, her oak library steps. So, so far, they've liked royals, they don't like booze. Let's see if they like going up steps. <laughs> Start me on this one. 30 straight in, <gasps> thank you. At 30 oh, pounds, we're going to need to do a bit better than that. Oh, I've got no. straight in. At 40, 5. At 45. 50. <laughs> 55, easy life. Right now, it's your second biggest loss. 60 at the back. Oh, okay. that's a vindication. <laughs> at 70 pounds, have you all done at 70? <laughs> <laughs> You've got to laugh or cry, I suppose. I've just remembered I need to be somewhere else. OK, so, yeah. Um, <laughs> you could all just carry <laughs> on. I might, yes, I might do that. <laughs> Despite some brave purchases, Lucy only made a small profit. She started off with £400 and after paying commission overall made quite a loss, finishing this trip with £200 and 8 pence. While Jenny also had £400 to spend, she was much more frugal with her buys. She made a smaller loss and spent less money, so after sale room fees, she wins the day with £385 and 28p. Oh, well, that was fun. I've got the auction bug now. I know. Shall we just go straight to another auction? Absolutely. <laughs> Look, at, Look that. at this. That is. Oh, this is the, where you want to that, know. That's straight out of a book. They've probably got some teaks. Yes. Oh, imagine. Imagine what you would see if you went into these houses. Just knock on. We could just break in. It could be like a sort of uh, <laughs> stealth. Stealth antiques road trip, <laughs> where you just break into people's houses and have a look at their antiques. <laughs> antiques jail time. <laughs> Toodaloo, ladies. 